Okay, you might be asking, how come I don't hear the motor running? <laughs> Look how muddy my boots and pants are. Well, I drove as far as I could. We figured this would be an adventure. I thought I was going to be solo. And all of a sudden, all of the neighborhood showed up with snowmobiles. And then I drove up here and I was hoping to drive a little farther. But this tree, multiple trees, the whole side slid down. So I got my bike through there. I've been sawing trees and making a little path here for the last, I don't know, 45 or an hour. Everyone else cruised through. I told them I'd catch up. Sounds like they're up. Um, it's so soft here. They're up uh, cutting out more trees up the road. So I guess we'll be leapfrogging. So I cut all these. Look at this. The whole it's so soft. It's just all mud that slid down. I thought the trees had fallen across, but look. Whole land came down. Oh, dude, is he coming with the chainsaw? But anyway, the whole tree slid down on the road. This is a whole landslide here. Let's see if they brought the uh, chainsaw. This one looks dangerous. What's that? This one looks dangerous, but it'd be nice if that one could be sawed out. So what a difference a week makes. That was a week ago. I was up here we, driving through this, and all hell broke loose. We had two feet of snow, followed up by... Um, just straight rain for like two days. And worse flooding off the mountain here that I talked to one local that had been here 70 years and said they'd never seen it coming off the mountain like that. And other side of the mountains really got hit hard. They're flooding like crazy, so making national news around here. So I was kind of expecting this up this road. And sure enough, straight away, mile up, Landslide, trees all toothpicked across here. And we got through and I guess they're, we'll see what goes up here. Just out for an adventure today in the neighborhood. Yeah, the flooding was so bad. I mean, washing out my road, I've been spending time on my, my backhoe, just cleaning out ditches, taking care of neighbors. I mean, two neighbors had water just streaming into their houses and we live up high out of the floodplain just coming off the mountain so quick that warm front actually it was the warm front that i was talking about on my last ride my warm fronting video and that just ended with rain 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 and that's a bad combination because it stayed above freezing at night. So we just had just really bad flooding. So this road, this creek here was raging down lower. And from what I hear, we're going to see some washout up here. See if I can get through this. There we go. A little shot of the creek. Huh, that's good. It didn't breach that bank. It's kind of one spot I thought maybe it'd breach. Okay. Make it through this mess. I was hoping to be driving through this. Ah, just nasty. Wow. 
I gotta drive up through that creek bed. Dang, if there was more snow coverage, and that just zap the snowpack. So otherwise, I could battle up through the trees there. Okay, I just gotta get through this, and then. Actually, I wouldn't have been able to drive through this. This waterfall, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, water skiing. Okay, come on. Yeah, the battle is real. Thankfully there was a little bit of new snow tonight. Otherwise I wouldn't even been thought about coming up here. surveying the damage the law enforcement from the Forest Service showed up that was wild out of nowhere he drove all the way around the mountain to see if he could even access Forest Service land and he didn't have a chainsaw or anything he just kind of left us and he's gonna go on to the next spot but the highway is closed a regular access up this way mud bog why are we doing this should have put a wheel on look at this okay I just gotta make it to right up there oops if the bike's not warmed up it's just Dang. Okay, I'll make it through this creek. Uh, oh, almost lost it there. Yeah, this climb gear is genuinely waterproof. Unlike the other gear that claims it. I'm just standing in a creek right now, trying to get this yammy started. Oh, what a battle! Okay. Alright, this is where it's gonna make it across this creek. Now ah, it should be golden. Oh dang, missed a shift. Yeah, it might be through the worst stuff. Snow's deeper, I'm trying to clean off, clean some mud out of everything here. It was a pretty easy pull. Alright, good copy, I'm coming that way. Yeah, you can just idle up as yours. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Alright, 
My cousin said it's easy. Says I can idle up it. I'll take it though. Didn't completely disappear. Yeah, that was quite an epic, epic melt there. That warm front. Not sure what I'm gonna do here. It's such a late start in the day and all the commotion getting out here. I was hoping to get over and see if I could see the highway. This highway is closed. The stream was just flowing across both sides of it, all kinds of erosion. It might actually be a while till we can access up into there. This last storm, I think it was a case of one step forward, two steps back. Somewhere we'll hit a line that didn't get as much melt, but right back on that ridge, it definitely was two feet followed by minus three feet. But the good news about the warm fronts is it just packs stuff down. Just keep getting a harder and harder layer underneath everything. And that sets it up for our February storms, hopefully. Just caught up to him. Figured they weren't too far away. Tracks are looking pretty fresh. Uh oh, we got stuck. Oh, they just wanted to come down for a little tour. They'll climb it. be sweet sometime I gotta cruise up that canyon have a closer look at it all right we're heading down some road I've never been on on the snow bike I kind of don't like these slow descents downhill on a road Got to keep momentum going and kind of usually let snowmobiles go out a little bit more ahead just so I can keep things cruising. That wasn't too bad. Didn't even know that road existed. Alright, we are at the warming cabin. been down for a long time. Ah, kind of interesting. A play quarry or something. Oh yes, they've logged in here. It's a logging pile. We didn't make much good use of that cabin. It's actually kind of comfortable out here. So I'm not sure how far I'm going to follow these guys out. 
So uh, there's a missing person over there, kind of where we're heading. I uh, think we heard a Chinook helicopter up, or some type of helicopter. We're good. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. This gets wind hammered out here. Beautiful. Dang, there's bare earth right there. There's some holes in here. Guess we're planning some crazy drop here.
commence the real battle here.